visiting a woman to her house is part of our culture when it comes to courtship, when it comes to dating. And it's very simple. It's not as if we're asking you to get the stars and the moon. It's very simple, but not all guys can do that. Hey fam, this is Jo again and welcome back to Filipino Mindset. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about what it's like courtship in the province area. I am the best person to explain this topic to you because I grew up in the province and I experienced this myself. This episode that I am going to share with you is not something that a foreigner would do. Well, the first one is writing a letter. So yes, I know today is already a digital age and everyone has cell phones. You can, everyone already has an access to someone if they wanna, if they wanna court someone. But let me tell you, writing still works and it's, kind of an old fashion but it still works and i know a friend who used to have a suitor who always write her a note or a letter and just put it in her locker and yeah she said it it works and that's how she said yes to that guy the next one is you gotta go to her house and here in the philippines we measure the guy's seriousness or the guy's intention if they go and visit us in our house to so most filipina if you visit her to her house it's like you send her a signal that you value her you respect her not just her but her family and you value her tradition and her values. So I know we have a different values. And to some of you, meeting the parents or meeting the entire family will come afterwards. Like if you guys already decided to get married. But here, during the courtship stage, you have to meet the parents. And the reason for that is because every woman is precious and especially to their parents. And the reason why they want to meet you is because they want to know you and they want to be sure that their daughter, the person that their daughter is hanging out with is a good person. So if you're someone who doesn't have anything to hide, then it's not a problem for you. Okay, so let me just tell you a story. So before a guy decided to visit you in your house, the first thing that they're gonna do or they're gonna ask you first if you're available that night like for example he already decided to visit you that night usually after dinner and yeah they're gonna ask you if you're available that time if your parents are there or you're just alone so the reason why they want to ask you is because of course, they don't want to go there when you're alone, obviously. But yeah, and also the reason why they, they, they want to ask you if your parents are there because just to, it's, it's to set their expectation that, okay, I'm going to meet her parents. I have to prepare. What would be the question? <laughs> what do they usually ask you? So it's just a basic stuff like what's your name, your surname, what do you do for a living, your intention to their daughter, and and another thing. <laughs> Here's one. So the reason why they're gonna ask you what's your surname because sometimes they wanna connect it. Like for example, your family name is sounds familiar. 
they want to connect if they want to know if they know a relative if you are connected with this person like for example your surname is Pete <laughs> so they will for sure ask you if what is your relation to Brad Pitt or are you related to Brad Pitt something like that and for a Filipino uh, for example your surname is Cruz and they know someone who has that surname and they have a good reputation then you're good <laughs> but if they know like for example your uncle and he's a bad person then you might want to be on a tight spot <laughs> after a short interview uh, they will let you guys talk <laughs> and yeah you can also ask if it's okay to visit her again or you can ask her parents if it's okay to take her out sometime oh by the way you have to leave a good impression because usually after you left the house they will give a comment <laughs> So I used to have a suitor who visit me in the afternoon and then during that time my mom is like fixing a our fence and yeah he helped my mom and then they just talk and then after he left my mom told me that he's still young and is he Chinese? Why is he visiting you in the afternoon? So, yeah, at first, uh, it's, I think it's, it's important to visit her in the evening, like after dinner. <laughs> so, and then after that, you can visit her like like in the afternoon maybe some of you might be asking if how long does the courtship last so it depends <laughs> it depends on a girl usually it will take months like three months is the shortest or one month or i know someone who courted a woman for years and even if you court someone for years, it doesn't guarantee uh, it doesn't guarantee that she'll say yes to you. And yeah, the reason why it will take you months to court a woman in the province is because we have a saying here that if you say yes immediately, like it's like after two weeks or after one week, they will uh, see you as an easy woman. Like we also have like a saying here that if a guy, if the courtship takes longer, then the guy will like, it's not easy to break. Like the guy will, uh, will, give an importance to the relationship rather than uh, someone who already said yes like she didn't give enough time for a guy to exert an effort but how do you know if you guys are exclusive so you have to ask her so for example it's already months and you keep on pursuing her you credit her you do all uh, sorts of stuff like you, you send her a gift or you always visit her something like that and yeah you can ask her if you have a chance so what's the status you can ask her so that's where you know if you guys are already exclusive like this thing is going somewhere because sometimes a girl would say you that will will tell you that um she still see you as a friend so you still need to do do more and also she can accept 
more than one suitor if you guys are not exclusive so but once a girl told you that you already have a chance on her it doesn't mean that you guys are already together like you guys are already boyfriend and girlfriend no she just tell you that oh you have a chance like this is going somewhere for example if a girl already told you that you have a chance on her and then all of a sudden you're not doing anything but all of a sudden she told you that i think we're better off as friends or please stop doing what you're doing or she busted you we have a term like that like oh you are busted like stop stop quitting like no more girlfriend and boyfriend <laughs> happening so if he did that and you're sure that you didn't do anything then she's paasa or she's just lead you on okay so will you get busted after quitting a girl for months or years the answer is yes even if he she said that oh you have a chance on me she clarified that you have a chance on her she can still busted you and one of the main reason why she can still busted a guy is if for example you guys are exclusively dating and then she found out that you are also dating another girl or you are also uh creating someone other than her then she can still bastard you although it's a different approach for us filipina because we can accept uh as many suitors as we want all at the same time like we have that freedom it's kind of weird right like we can accept <laughs> more than one suitor at all at the same time but you are not allowed to court other women other than us <laughs> so but yeah that's how it is here so that's it for today's video fam i hope you learned something from me and I hope you're having a nice day and a nice weekend and if this is the kind of content that you like please subscribe and hit the like button and please do comment below I love reading your comments and that's it have a great day bye